What's up everybody, I am John from Agani's Games. Welcome to some new Shenmue 3 info. Now basically, it's only uh, some small bits and pieces regarding Shenmue 3, but let's get straight into it. So, Yu Suzuki, the game's director, um, has gone on record as saying that Shenmue 3 will be basically double the length of the previous games. Now, I'm feeling like this game's gonna be pretty big, um, and the previous games were quite big. You know, Shenmue is a bit of a short experience, but for the time it was massive. It still was quite a, a hefty kind of weighty game. Uh, Shenmue 2 is still big, like it's absolutely huge. And you know, I, I don't ever forget that detail about the game. It was a quite a long experience and quite a, a big world to explore. Now, next to that, the uh, the game's director, Yu Suzuki, also wanted to say that the, the original games could be completed in a week's time. Um, the latest entry will take multiple weeks and have a lot of content for the player. That's promising. He's also stated that Shenmue 3 will probably follow a similar kind of route to a lot of other open world games. I've just finished Spider-Man for PS4 and you know you can basically go and still explore the city and, uh, and replay missions and stuff like that. So Shenmue 3 is going to follow suit with, with that kind of idea where you'll still be able to explore the, the world of Shenmue 3 even after the main story's finished. So that's pretty cool. Um, unlike previous entries where players need to start a new game to experience the game again. Uh, the director also hinted that there may be more storylines once the game is finished. Uh, on the other hand, Suzuki revealed that side quests will no longer be independent of the game. So, you know, there's going to be no random kind of uh, things happening and, and side quests, you know, that you can take part in. This time it's going to all be attached to the main story. Um, as such, they will be incorporated into the game's story to provide a more cohesive experience. I understand why he's doing that. Um, he also implied that the development of the game would be much easier thanks to this. So lastly, Yu Suzuki talked about the importance of minigames in Shenmue 3. The minigames will have a larger impact on the game as a whole. This is due to better integration within the story. Not only that, but some minigames will be returning from Shenmue 1 and 2. I mean, if we've seen kind of like some pictures and images, you know, regarding Shenmue 3, if you have seen those, you'll see that uh, Punch-Out, you know, makes a return. I think that's what it's called anyway, but... So, Shenmue 3 will be coming to PC as well, which is, is great, and... I'm guessing that it's going to be out this year at some point. So yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm really happy with what I'm reading and the fact that this game's going to be like double the length of the previous ones. Um, it could take weeks to finish. We, we're going to be getting a, a proper RPG and what I think um, will be a, a true sequel and maybe even a bookend to the, you know, the trilogy. Now, at the moment, I'm playing Shenmue. I'm absolutely loving my time with the game. Um, it hasn't you know, changed. My opinion hasn't soured of it in any way, shape or form. The one thing I will say is Ryu does feel like a, a bit of a tank to control, but it adds to the slower pace of the game, let's be honest. And uh, this isn't a game unlike kind of Spider-Man 4, you know, which was just a, an assault on the senses, this amazing spectacle of a game. Um, Shenmue, after coming from Spider-Man, you know, on the PS4 to Shenmue, um, it's just like chilled, relaxed, it's so peaceful to play and that's why I like Shenmue, that's why I like the series because when you're looking for a game that isn't all about guns and shooting people up and yeah, that's all great, you know, but you have to have other games and other experiences to outweigh that sort of stuff, you know, you can't have constant action all the time. And Shenmue, even though it does have some, some moments of action, yeah, is, is also like a t detective story, you know, it's this, uh, this Japanese style detective story and I love it for that. And the pace of it, the, the you know, the music, um, even the hilarious voice acting, it's just taken me back to when I was 14 and, you know, I played this game on the Dreamcast. And I can't wait to finish this and get stuck into its sequel, which, you know, is a better game in some ways. But they're both so charming. Like, Shenmue is still such a charming game and so is, um, is Shenmue 2. So, I am loving my time with Shenmue. Uh, as you can see from the gameplay, I'm a little bit rusty, I'm not going to lie. Um, you'll be able to see that I'm kind of like getting used to the fighting system again. And that is like the first time, you know, basically in, like you'll see in the video where uh, you do actually get into like a fight. So yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, but give, give me a break. It's been like 15 or 17 years since I played the original and I've never played it um, since then. You know, it was just on the Dreamcast I got to play the game. It hasn't been released for any other console since the Dreamcast days up until now, you know, where we've got the HD collection for the PS4. And um, I'm really glad that I've got to, you know, play this game again and I'm, you know, I'm getting stuck stuck into it again. And it's just, uh, 
There's loads of nostalgic feelings that I have for the game, uh, booting it up and just seeing that menu screen. I love the fact that we've still got the, the VMU uh, when you go to save the game. The fact that you can save it anywhere now, because I don't think you could do that originally, um, if my memory serves me right. But the fact that we've got also like a, a Dreamcast controller, you know, in the menu section, that shit's great. That's just filling me with nostalgic feelings. And I'm so happy that Sony and, and also Microsoft, you know, didn't tell them to get rid of um, those icons because they're basically iconic. Like, there we go. And it just adds to the, the nostalgic feelings that I have for these two games. Overall, if you're not into these type of kind of style games, you know, the whole Japanese setting, um, talking to loads of people and just it being like this detective novel that you can play, that type of thing, then I can understand you're not going to be, you know, getting on with this game but for me as well as a lot of fans um, we grew up with this game and even playing it now it's such a breath of fresh air and a break from kind of like the, the usual like action games and just action heavy games out there so yeah I'm loving my time with the the first Shenmue um, I'm probably about halfway through maybe the game at the moment but um yeah, it's brilliant, and I can't wait to get stuck into uh, the sequel, which I almost think is a better game, you know, technically, and it's a lot longer, and the story's a bit better, and stuff like that, but the original, I haven't played this since Dreamcast days, and um, yeah, it's brilliant that I've got a chance to, to play it once again. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like. Um, if you want to keep updated with any more Shenmue content that I put out, then go ahead and hit subscribe, because you know what? I love making videos, and video games are... Uh, one of my favorite mediums and yeah and that's about it really i don't actually do this for any money i don't get any money from my channel and so it's the passion that keeps me you know putting up content so by all means subscribing to the channel and getting involved in the comment section um is what i'm looking for so until next time i've been john from a guy in his games and once again i'm signing out peace <laughs>